backache and cervical problems are no longer an old age disease. The ailments are becoming common even amongst kids and youngsters. The working population spends 8 to 9 hours a day, spending 2 hours in travel, talking 2 to 3 hours a day on the mobile and sitting in front of the TV for another couple of hours. These are an indispensable part of their routine and therefore unavoidable. As a result, they start getting neck and back pain at a very young age. Increasing cases of youngsters getting musculoskeletal problems are being reported. Even looking at your smartphones, being active on social media for long hours can leave teenagers and young adults with much more than a stiff neck and a few aches and pains. Along with the advantages, these modern lifestyles also have some repercussions on the body. Dr. Ramnik Mahajan is a senior orthopedic surgeon with over 15 years of experience in handling orthopedic cases, says it's all about the postures. Nowadays, lifestyle has become one of the major impacting problem in India. Everybody is having a different kind of lifestyle whether it is prolonged sitting for long hours, whether it is in office for long hours, whether it is lying down and watching TV, basically it's all sedentary. Sometimes you find youngsters lying down on the TV as a, what we call as couch potatoes for long hours, where you have youngsters or then even we people adults talking on our mobile phone in a particular fashion, trying to hold our mobile phone in different kind of fashions. So what it does is it is actually giving a major impact on how we work as a whole. If you look at this is a spine, if you look at this spine model and you look at a person who is sitting, let's say he is sitting like this, a tailbone and he is sitting. A continuous sitting posture means this line of gravity, the whole weight of the body, the head here is going into the spine and from the spine it goes into the seat and to the floor. Now if this patient suddenly look at it from this perspective, this patient is sitting for long hours. These are discs. The intradiscal pressure will increase. When the intradiscal pressure will increase, it will lead to a lot of strain and stress on these joints. These joints will actually start hurting. So when we get back pain, sometimes the back pain is only because of prolonged sitting, either in office, in front of a laptop, in front of a desktop with all kinds of bad postures. Or look at this monitor is here. So what I do, I would be like this and I am looking like this and trying to type. These are all bad posture. Continuous talking on the phone like this. Look at my arm, my elbow, my shoulder. A continuously contracted muscle for a long time and the mobile phone in itself sending out those signals, all those rays into my ear very close to the brain. Number of times you find people getting headaches. These are all symptoms of something which is not right and causing us problems. So back, lying down, you're watching TV, there's a TV in front of you, you use two, three pillows and look what you're doing. You're actually stressing your back so much that you start hurting. If I consider a ship, let my body become a ship. So if this is a ship, this is the spine on top of it. And this spine is being held together straight by two masts. The abdominal muscles in the front and the back muscles in the back. So this is keeping this mast straight on a rocking ship. Suddenly, I start becoming fat. These are my lifestyle changes. The moment I become fat, the center of gravity is shifting. So to pull me up so that the weight of the fat and everything doesn't pull my back down, these muscles will contract. The moment these muscles contract, fat person will be continuously having a back pain because these muscles are fatigued, always in a tight cramped up mode. So the moment you start losing your fat, these start becoming relaxed and your back pain actually eases out. So number of times when you youngsters come, people come, I tell them they have either to lose your weight. When you are in office, do not sit for more than half an hour at a stretch. 
when you are working on your laptop or a computer try to bring this monitor right in front the it the distance between you and the monitor is around 14 to 16 inches the height of this is 2 inches below your eye level so you're working like this when you're working in front your arms should be well rested well protected the keyboard should be right in front so that your wrists are supported and then you are working so you're looking straight you're working like this and most important thing is this the distance between my chair and my back i would pull myself and push myself all the way back so that this is well protected by this cushion at the back